did she really? She did. my first NFT. I didn't think it was going to be this soon to be honest and I thought that my first NFT was going to be something to do with gaming. You know, maybe an Axie Infinity or something like that. But no, <laughs> I seized the opportunity. <laughs> Crypto.com have launched their NFT platform with some beautiful NFTs yesterday, which I did not get involved in. I'm still kind of wrapping my head around the whole, you know, digital art collectibles. Thing. You know, I kind of like tangible stuff, like things that I can touch, but I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm slowly starting to understand, you know, what this whole hype is about. And to be honest, I got sucked in. I did. Aston Martin, Formula One. <laughs> As you probably already know, Crypto.com is advertising on the cars, which is amazing. Uh, it's not just for Crypto.com, but for the whole crypto space in general. So thank you, Crypto.com. That was a great move. I honestly thought that I was going to wake up this morning and have a little browse and just be like, oh, that's really good. I'll just watch the market. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to get involved, <laughs> but you know what happens, right? You see, it's really smart because you see 10K, you're like, oh, ha, 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 ha. I wonder what that's going to go for like in five or 10 years from now. And then you see 3K, you're like, mm, should I get that? <laughs> 3K. And then you see $300. Of course, of course you can take my $300. That's fine. <laughs> that is a brilliant marketing strategy. And I totally got sucked in. And to be honest, to be honest, I think that I might make some money on this one. This is really, really, really fun actually because you buy your NFT and then you can put it up for sale straight away pretty much. <laughs> and so you buy your NFT and then you see everybody putting their own prices. <laughs> it's like an auction. It's like, it's, <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is meant to be a really short video, so I'm just going to show you <laughs> what I did. I jumped on this before I made the video, of course, because I didn't want to miss out. And so I screen recorded what I did, and I'm just going to talk you through that. At the beginning, it was very difficult to actually play the video, so I thought it was just images. So I was going to go for this one. But then I saw that the neighbor of one, <laughs> Pit Stop Slow Mo, was starting to sell out so fast. And so I thought, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why is that one selling out faster than, than this one? Because this one is nice. It's got like a nice bird's eye kind of shot from above, and I was like, this is a nice picture. The other picture is like blurry. Uh, why would anyone want to spend $300 on that? But then I realized that you that they're actually videos. But what happened is that I purchased the, the pit stop top view one and I went for 119 because the 19th is my birthday and number 19 was already gone. <laughs> Even though it was just shortly after 9 a.m. UK time, which is when the whole thing started. Um, <laughs> but but yeah, so I've learned a little lesson here. So people are buying these things like the clappers. Can I still do that? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> yeah, like the clappers. My lesson learned is that because these NFTs just like, they go straight away, you can't really choose your number unless it's like a really, a number that is far away because I chose number 119, but I think we were on number 112 or something or less or 98 or whatever. And so I went to figure out how I could pay for this. I had some USDT in my crypto.com account. I bought some CRO with that. And then basically you go to the pay section and you do a little, you know, a little QR code scan thing. <laughs> and voila, the payment goes through. And it did, I got charged, but I didn't get my NFT. You know why? Because somebody already purchased number 119. It has scarred me for life. Sorry, my mic turned off, and so the audio might be a little bit different now. 
Apologies. I purchased the NFT, the payment went through. Now, you know, I forgive you crypto.com, it's a new thing that you're doing here. It's fine, as long as you refund me, okay? I want my refund. But yeah, the payment went through and the NFT didn't go through. So then I was like, FOMO! I went back onto the page and then I was like, whoo, okay, let's try this again. Hmm, okay, now I refresh the page and I see this way less NFTs available. I'm like, ah, this thing really is a thing, right? It really is a thing, this NFT hype is really a thing. You know, people are buying these things. Okay, okay. Why is the other one going down so fast? Let me check. And so I click on it and I realize it's a video. And I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> and so I watched both videos, even though the numbers were going, <laughs> going down so fast. And I was like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch both because I do want to choose the one that I like the most. But I also want to choose the one that's going down the fastest because, you know, that's probably going to be the one that sells the easiest then when the time comes. And so without putting too much thought into it, <laughs> I went ahead and I bought the other one. So not the one that I initially bought, but the, the one that everybody else was buying. <laughs> so I tried again. Okay, let's do this thing and uh, let's do this this pay thing because I really like the crypto.com pay. You you point it on the screen and then boom, you've paid. Um, I like that. It, it feels very futuristic, well, very modern. It feels very modern, you know, like we are in the future. Who knows what the future, our future is going to be like. Oh my God. I know. The second one, bye. Do I have it? Do I have it? Do I have it? And then I look into my account and it's there. It is there so beautifully sitting there. Let's have a little look. Let's see how many are left. Even before the hour finished, they were all gone. All sold out. The one that I got. The other one was still hanging on there. But the one that I actually ended up getting the second time sold out. Not even an hour. Not even an hour. And I was like, you yes, girl, you did the right thing. Mm -hmm. Got in on the hype. <laughs> but, you know, let's see if it pays off. We don't know yet, okay? We don't know. I might make another video on that. When I sell this NFT, I'll make a video and I'll, I'll let you all know how much I, sell, I sold it for. <laughs> the next thing is, of course, you know, of course, you're curious. You want to see, are people already trying to sell these NFTs? And so I went and I checked and I saw, you know, NFTs going for 999,000. 999,999. US dollars. Hmm, okay. Maybe he's going to sell in 20 years, but you never know. <laughs> you never know. Like, people are putting outrageous prices up and down. Like, some people are selling them for just $40 more than what they paid, you know, like 340 And you're like, did you like FOMO into it? And then you were like, oh, um, that was a bad idea. I'm going to just sell it for a little bit more than what I bought it for. Or maybe, maybe you're living in a country where $40 is actually a whole month's worth of rent and groceries and necessities. And that's good enough for you, you know, and given the fact, because that could be a really smart move as well, because, you know, everybody's buying now. So if you buy your NFT for 300 and then you sell it for 340, you know that somebody's going to buy it. Somebody who comes along late and is like, oh, they all sold out. Um, oh, there's one going for 340. Oh, I'll, I'll buy that one. And so you've just made a very quick 40 bucks, right? So uh, that is uh, very smart. I'm going to hold on to mine for a little bit longer. I might put it up for, I'm going to just watch the market, see what everybody, but it's, it's like the prices are so random. You know, you've got 340, you've got 999,999, right? And you've got like all of these like different, like you, everybody's just putting prices. And so I don't even know what I should price mine at. I guess it will come down to desperation in the end of the day. I'm really desperate to, to sell this and how much or am I just gonna leave it there? Just let it sit there and just never sell it? I don't know. Maybe in a week or so I might put it up for sale. I um, don't know if you want to buy it. It's a Boho Crypto Girl on the crypto.com NFT platform. Um, but it's not for sale yet, okay? I'm gonna make you wait. <laughs> not true. I'll put it up for sale very soon. Uh, I just don't know what I'm gonna sell it for because I'm new to this space, I have to admit. I've been following the NFT space for a long time, but I haven't actually made a move. It's my first move. <laughs> so it's the first time I actually put, put money into real NFTs. I've been investing in the coins associated with NFTs like Sandbox, like Mana, like, you know, uh, Engine, all of those. I've got a few more, like well, quite a few. <laughs> but actual NFTs, it's the first time I actually 
It's the first time I actually, actually, I, it's the first time I actually, actually, <laughs> it's the first time I actually purchased an NFT, uh, no, I can't speak today. It's the first time I actually purchased an NFT myself. I like the crypto.com NFT platform because I don't know, like you've got your own section, you know, your collectibles and you've got all the data there and it's all beautifully, beautifully presented. <laughs> and it just feels nice i don't know it feels nice have i got pulled into this thing as well it just feels good <laughs> okay okay i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop now <laughs> i talk a lot i know that i know I, I i need to work on that i need to work on that hopefully <laughs> you've enjoyed this video and uh, i just wanted to share my in my first nft experience with you how do i feel about this i feel good i feel very good very good very good um, do I believe I'm going to manage to sell it for more than I than what I bought it for? Yes, absolutely, because I bought it for 300 and I don't think anybody's going to sell it for less than that. So if anybody wants one, you know, they're going to have to pay more, okay? <laughs> We're not going to cut our losses here. Um, is it going to sell? Yeah, I believe so. You know why? Because Crypto.com is a very established company and so if you're going to buy an NFT and you're a beginner and you don't know where to start but you've got a Crypto.com account and if they keep doing these NFT drops, then I believe a lot of people are just going to go ahead and buy, so... <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Please do let me know in the comments below if you have bought any NFTs or if you are planning on buying any NFTs and what do you think about the whole NFT space as a whole? If you aren't subscribed and you're watching this video, hello! <laughs> It's a very new channel please support my channel <laughs> please subscribe and like this video i hope you have a wonderful day i will see you in the next one <laughs> bye for now